to Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy's dream. Today on Around Kansas, enjoy a teasers from Michael Martin Murphy, Ken Spurgeon, and Skip Gorman for the Lone Chimney Film's new Home on the Range movie. Next, catch up with Marshal Alan Bailey and his Saturday morning show on High Plains Public Radio, Western Swing and Other Things. Then enjoy a poem from Ron Wilson, and we'll end with Joaquini's Christmas City of the High Plains. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. This segment brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And this is Around Kansas, just a couple of days before Christmas. Before Santa Claus comes. Do yeah. you remember watching the TV and, you know, watching the <laughs> progress of Santa as the radar tracked him in the sky. Wonder when the, the meteorologists started doing that. Do you know? <laughs> well, it was on radio, too. You know, I, did they? Actually, I was I was around before television. <laughs> but and so you'd listen to the radio and they'd have a little gong and say, you know, Santa alert. Uh, Santa is now such and such and such and such. Really? And of course, then with the advent of television on a big scale, uh, then they started doing that. Yeah. Do you remember I'm that old? Yes. <laughs> Do you remember the Cold War story about the guy who defected from Russia at Christmas because he knew that the guard would be down because it was Christmas hmm. and he was able to get through and defect? Do you remember that? We're going to have to look that up because it was a really cool story about this guy who. Um, he thought, you know, if I just can do it on Christmas night, then, you know, there, there won't be many people working and they'll be um, not so inclined to shoot me down, <laughs> <laughs> which was true. And so he... Well, he, you know, there's also the, the World War I oh, story the truth. on Christmas oh. Eve when, uh, you know, in the trenches oh. there was a ceasefire. Oh. Oh. But the thing is, is the Germans were singing Christmas carols the Americans were singing Christmas carols, the and French. both sides realized, hey, we're singing the same songs. Right. And so they came up out of the trenches, and they all got together and uh. exchanged stories and everything oh. else. And then after Christmas, they didn't want to fight anymore. Oh, it was wrenching. And so the generals came in and replaced every one yeah. of them so that the war could resume. Yeah, it's just a wrenching story. And as we're marking the anniversaries, of course, the hundred years since World War One, that Christmas truce, uh, yeah. it's just, it's a heartbreaking story. You know, during the Civil War, the similar things happened. You know, they would be, um, and of course, they speak the same language, essentially, essentially the same, Northern and Southern, it's essentially the same. We have some of the same words, but they would be across the riverbanks and singing and they could hear each other, you know, and they would call back and forth and they would trade things and, you know, give each other Christmas gifts. Hmm. And so, yeah, that happened. Of course, then the other Christmas story when you're talking about war is when George Washington burned, uh, was it Trenton? Yeah. Is that where he arrived on Christmas Day, crossed the Delaware <laughs> yeah. and caught the British um, asleep and hung over? And yeah. yeah, that one worked for us, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, nothing so. like Christmas and war. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's think of things more peaceful here. <laughs> so, but anyway, well, but that's the magic of Christmas. It is, it know. is. That's exactly right. You know, and those stories are really special. And of course, um, we had talked last week about um, the uh, songs like um, White Christmas, of course, and, and I'll Be Home for Christmas, you know, was especially poignant for boys who were away from home mm -hmm. um, serving in the military Christmas time. And so, yeah, so a lot of our traditions come out of, you know, come out of those things. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, Civil War. That's one of my favorite carols. It's so beautiful and so meaningful. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, there's, there's a lot of connections there. Of yeah. course, I can draw 
military history connection to just anything. <laughs> so anyway, did we <laughs> mess up your Wednesday before Christmas? Are you no, in tears really. yet? These are things that actually happen, and, and they're not really sad things. That they happen. And they're, they're meaningful things. Yeah. They're meaningful things. Yeah, it's the difference between sad and meaningful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be meaningful and not sad, right, Frank? Right. <laughs> okay, let's go. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> LeCompton, the name was splashed across newspapers throughout America and Europe. It was debated in the halls of Congress. LeCompton interprets its unique territorial history with two museums and other sites. Events throughout the year celebrate history and community. Visit the Territorial Capital Museum where more than 70 trees are displayed with thousands of antique and vintage ornaments. And be sure to stop in the gift shops in both LeCompton museums. Spend the day in historic LeCompton shopping, eating, savoring the rich history. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. And we're back. So speaking of poignant songs, Home on the Range. Home, home on the Range, yeah. And of course we've, uh, it's even more poignant the way you sing it, Frank. So <laughs> we've got, uh, you know, we've been updating you along as Ken Spurgeon and Lone Chimney Films uh, guys have been working on the Home on the Range documentary. And the time has come. So middle of January, the premieres start and we'll scroll those dates across the screen and we'll keep updating as we get other dates. It's going to be phenomenal. So the clip we have today is actually um, taken from some of the interviews that I did on set with Michael Martin Murphy and with Ken Spurgeon. So I think this is gonna be like the bonus material on the DVD and it's a real bonus. It's, <laughs> you're going to love it. Well, but I mean, the, the song was written so <laughs> that his uh, wife-to-be would uh, feel good about coming all the way out to Kansas and marrying him. <laughs> Isn't love great? And love and propaganda. <laughs> love and propaganda. You just <laughs> she said, I don't think so. <laughs> we got war and Christmas and love and propaganda. Is this a great country or what? <laughs> yes. You're going to love this. I'm so proud to share this with you. So proud to be involved on any level with these guys in this project. But here's a song that connects us with nature, connects us with God, and connects us with gratitude to just be alive and be in a place. And when I went to uh, Booster Higley's little cabin there, something snapped inside of me. It just, this, is, this is not just about Booster. This is not just about me. This is about every person who ever sat down alone and looked out at an inspiring scene or was surrounded by an environment that made them feel like God was speaking. This is about that experience. When Brewster Higley, I can't exactly know his thoughts, but when he wrote the song, when he wrote the, the lyrics, I don't, I don't think life had been very kind to him up till that point in time. He was hoping to find a home. He was hoping God would give him one more chance to find a home. And so it was a song of prayer. It was a hope. It was a wow, you know, at everything that he saw. So, yeah, and you know, I'm one of those weird guys. We talked about historical places being so significant, but like musicians have said and other people have said, I wanted to go there by myself. I wanted, uh, I wanted to walk in there and sing by myself, think by myself, and, uh, and just get a sense of what he felt. And you can still feel it today. You can go there today, and you'll still get a sense of what he felt, especially at night. Um, so it's a beautiful song, and it's, a, it's a kind of a beautiful wish or prayer. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. 
Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. We're back again. So this you is get around Kansas, by the way, in case you just tuned still, in. Still around Kansas. We're still <laughs> around Kansas. <laughs> yeah. It's great when we start out around Kansas and we're still around Kansas as the show goes on. Mm -hmm. You don't know what an accomplishment that is for us. <laughs> yeah. So you get to do all the fun people. You got Marshall Allen Bailey. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a hoot he is. Well, you know, again, we keep going back to my childhood, which is, you know, shortly after dirt was made. <laughs> but, you know, I grew up uh, down in Newton, Kansas, and of course the radio stations were in Wichita. Mm -hmm. And almost all of them, of course, had Western bands, live Western bands that would perform you know, in the morning mm -hmm. and all of that. And so, uh, it's really kind of cool that uh, the tradition is still around. Well, so you grew up with Bob Wills, listening oh, to yeah. Bob Wills. And um, of course, Asleep at the Wheel is kind of the new Bob Wills band, and I love Asleep at the Wheel. So Marshall Bailey um, plays this stuff and just, um, just a mishmash of really great Western swing and other things. So it's it's um, sometimes he'll throw Bing Crosby in there, just you know whatever he <laughs> takes the notion to throw in. And then you've got all these corny jokes between him and Cowgirl Janey in between. But it's um, he's a great showman and he's just a great ambassador for Kansas too. Kansas uh, grassroots, you know, he's the real deal. This real is deal. Alan Bailey's grandpa. Views expressed by my grandson on Western Swing and other things do not express the views of the staff management and all the other yahoos around public radio, and they definitely don't express the views of his family. I don't know where he come of that junk anyway. Darn little nut. That's a pretty unassuming introduction for a show that's been on the air for 27 years, garnering numerous awards along the way. Western Swing and Other Things is broadcast every Saturday morning on High Plains Public Radio, reaching an audience in five states, in addition to the online listeners. Hosted by Marshall Allen Bailey, and yep, he is really Dodge City Marshall, and his wife, Cowgirl Janie, the music is lots of western swing and lots of surprises punctuated with some admittedly pretty corny jokes. It's a winning combination as its longevity proves. Allen was born in Oklahoma but moved to Cimarron, Kansas as a child. An accomplished musician, he taught himself to play guitar at the age of 13. A mere year later, he was playing dances professionally. He now plays a number of instruments, including the bass guitar, pedal steel, fiddle, tenor banjo, and piano. He's a member of Partners of the Prairie, a group of cowboys who tour the country and perform cowboy poetry, stories, and lore to delighted folks as far away as Germany. He is also a sought-after MC, where his larger-than-life personality makes any event more fun. In 2014, he was inducted into the initial group of the new Wild West Walk of Fame in Dodge City. He was in fine company with Buck Taylor from Gunsmoke, Johnny Crawford from The Rifleman, Brent Harris, Marshal of Boot Hill Museum, 
Dr. R.C. Trotter, Dodge City icon and rodeo promoter. Harold Vold, famous rodeo stock contractor, the Duke of the Chutes, Justin Rumford, rodeo clown, Wes Sander, stock contractor, John Lair, and Nancy Hauer, star and producer of the Hulu series, Quick Draw. Jewel Hansen, world champion steer wrestler, and Boyd Polheimus, champion rodeo and announcer. Allen is a 2004 inductee into the Western or into the Kansas Western Swing Hall of Fame, a 2009 inductee into the Western Swing Society of the Southwest Hall of Fame, the 2010 Disc Jockey of the Year for the Cowtown Society of Western Music, and recipient of the 2012 Western Swing Guild Award of Appreciation and the 2014 Academy of Western Artists Award of Appreciation. He was a nominee of the AWA's 2015 DJ of the Year. His art reflects the same themes, Western landscapes, cowboys, and critters. Among his most popular paintings are those depicting historic scenes like Hambell's livery stable in Dodge City. Allen is incredibly proud of serving as Dodge City's marshal and treats that duty respectfully. And despite what his grandpa says, we figure he's pretty proud of Alan's accomplishments as well. person who's involved in ag production and cattle, cattle ranching, Bill Rischel here in North Platte, told me about Kansas Regenerative Medicine. And after talking to Dr. Pope, we did a lot of reading and researching, looking on the internet about it. I guess the thing that impressed me is that he told me, he said, if, it, if we don't think it's going to help you, we're not, we're not going to do it. And I thought that was a, a very good approach. I'm a former athlete, played college basketball, played overseas after college, had some severe trauma on the right ankle, right knee, joint in my hand also. This brace is what I had to wear all the time. Now I don't wear this during the day. That's a real improvement for me. Uh, my knee uh, doesn't bother me. Um, this joint came around quick. It was the first thing I noticed improving. You can see in the background here, there's different fish and game that I hunt. The ability to walk was impacting my outdoor uh, endeavors. I think it's really, vi really viable and I encourage anybody that's interested to go down and at least do a consultation with them. Fort Wallace stood on the frontier in the midst of the Plains Indians Wars on a major stage route and rail line. Beside the 1865 Stagecoach Station, a modern museum with thousands of artifacts tell that story, like the fossil of a 40-foot plesiosaur is suspended from the ceiling. Located on Highway 40, midway between Hayes and Colorado Springs, the Fort Wallace Museum is as welcome a site today as the fort itself in the 1860s. Discover the fightingest fort in the West. This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at ksgrainsorghum.org. Howdy folks, I'm Ron Wilson, Poet Lariat. There is one element of Kansas life which is found in the stereotypes that people have about the state of Kansas, and there's an element of truth to it, folks. I'm talking about wind. This poem is entitled, Blowing in the Wind. The railroad train stopped at a station out west. Out stepped a city dude in bowler hat and fancy vest. The wind was a howlin' as Kansas winds sometimes do, and off went his hat as one particular gust blew. This wind is just horrific, the easterner said. Is it always like this, he wondered with dread. So he looked around and what caught his eye was a Kansas cowboy who was waiting nearby. He approached the cowboy saying, young man, I say, does the wind clear out here always blow this way? Nope, said the cowboy. Thank goodness, said the dude, but his relief was short-lived with the comment that ensued. For the cowboy offered this further correction. You see out here, the wind blows half the time in the other direction. Happy trails. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. 
You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. And we're back again, and of course we're by the uh, tree in the rotunda of the state capitol, and I must say, they need to turn the heat up a little bit. It's a little bit chilly. We can't afford heat, Frank. (laughs) I guess not. You know, we can't afford heat. (laughs) Did you pay your taxes this year? (laughs) Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've sent mine in, so maybe when they get mine, they'll (laughs) turn up the heat a little bit. That's why, okay. It's all my fault. It's all my (laughs) fault. We can't can't have schools and heat, too, Frank, (laughs) you know? I Road, guess. schools, heat, you got to, you know, yeah. pick, pick your battles, man. I'll wear yeah. a sweater next year. That's right, we'll wear a sweater. <laughs> I've got, you know, my fur over here. You can <laughs> throw the fur. You'd look good in fur, Frank. Oh, I, okay. I look good in fur. Yeah, another hint. Well, we got a great Christmas story for you right now. Wakini, who has the best light display between Kansas City and Denver. And if you've not been out to see it, you're going to have to. And it's just a couple of minutes off the interstate. And Wakini has a special place in my heart because Dr. Jake is the vet at the Wakini Sail Barn um, there that the Zimmermans own. Our good friends, the Zimmermans, have the Sail Barn. And it's so funny because I'll tell people, my girlfriends in Topeka or back in Philadelphia, you know, I'm going to the sale barn with Jake today and saying, oh, what are you selling? And I'm like, no, the livestock sale. <laughs> well, what does he do? I'm like, he's the veterinarian, you know, so he, he, um, we won't even talk about what he does <laughs> in the sale barn. But I, I get to go help him on Tuesdays because good help is hard to find, Frank. And, you know, he's got me. It's, it's sad, but, you know. So, Wakini. And it has the best light display between oh, here and Denver. It's Kansas beautiful. City and Denver. It's beautiful. Does that include the plaza? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Each year, Wakini is magically transformed into a holiday wonderland. The county seat of Trago County has been known as the Christmas City of the High Plains since 1950. The idea began with a couple of businessmen and the town has turned on the lights ever since. The one-of-a-kind display features nearly 7,000 twinkling lights, more than twice as many lights as there are people in Trago County, 1,400 pounds of fresh greenery, 1,100 yards of fresh greenery roping, and approximately three miles of electrical wiring. The Christmas tree lighting is always held on the Saturday following Thanksgiving. The holiday begins at the Courthouse Square, the center of the town's activities any time of year, but particularly special during the Christmas season. The focal point is the magnificent 35-foot tree of fresh greenery in the middle of the intersection at the southwest corner of the square. The tree rests under a canopy of heavenly blue lights. Plus, a four-square block area around the tree is draped with fresh greenery, handcrafted wreaths, bows and bells, and of course, more lights. This annual tradition is considered the largest Christmas tree and lighting display between Kansas City and Denver. And where did the unusual name of Wakini originate? It is the combination of two names, Keeney and Warren. James Keeney, a land speculator in Chicago, purchased land at the site of modern-day Wakini from the Kansas Pacific Railroad in 1877. He and business partner Albert Warren formed Warren, Keeney & Company, surveyed and plotted the site in 1878, and established a colony there in 1879. The town grew quickly, 
but crop failures drove settlers to leave in 1880 almost as fast as they had come. The Volga Germans revitalized the area upon their arrival to the High Plains. Well, instead of our usual clothes, let's just say, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.